Today we're gonna turn these bad boys into tacos. We went through a phase where we were using a lot of bananas at the restaurant. We did a lot of fun stuff, bananas and Korean chili, banana barbecue sauce, spicy banana cream cupcakes. The only thing that wasn't cool was that we were throwing tons of these away. So we're looking at this trash can full of banana peels and just wondering if there's anything we could do with them. After scouring the internet just to make sure what we were trying to do was safe and legal, we realized that you totally could cook with banana peels. They're actually an uh, insane meat replacement. They work well as uh, pulled pork, tacos, barbecue, whatever you want. The thing with bananas is uh, you definitely want to treat them like a root vegetable or an apple. With air, they change color really fast. So we have our bananas over here on the smoker. Later, we're gonna make barbecue sauce out of them. And the peels are here ready to be chopped, but while we're chopping them, we have the base of our sauce going. So to begin with is just some sauteing some onions in oil. You do wanna preferably go with an organic banana. Uh, you look into banana farming and stuff and they put some pretty heinous stuff into our food supply. Rinse the outside of the bananas just to be safe. And then really what you want to do is get these bananas cut and into the liquid as fast as possible. Any nasty browning is going to result in bitterness, just like when an apple or an avocado browns. So what we're going to do is we're going to get little shreds here, kind of emulating pulled pork. So you can see how rapidly that that's turning brown just while we've been here. And that's okay, but you definitely don't want it going black. So what we have here, this is a blend of chilies, spices, and vegetable broth. Stir those into the broth. Just gonna add a little bit of water, salt and pepper. The real key to this is not trying to cook it too fast or too hot. Just let it slowly simmer for 30 to 45 minutes and the bitterness of the banana peel will gradually disappear. And you'll be left with just the ever so slight hint of banana that comes from something that was cooked wrapped in a banana leaf as opposed to the banana flavor of fruit of the banana or the bitterness of the peel. We're gonna make a little tangerine salsa. So peel our tangerines and don't throw those peels away. Little easy side project is to throw these in the blender with some nice olive oil and uh, strain it through a chinois and you have tangerine oil, which makes for a nice color on the plate and a hint of citrus flavor without the full citrus acidity. What we have here is diced red onions. This is concentrated tangerine juice. I love putting things back in their own concentrated juices and a little bit of super concentrated kombu broth. So we got a little light char on these tangerines, one side, and they'll just crumble. And a little bit of salt and pepper. But not too heavy on the salt because that seaweed broth is nice and salty. Our banana peels have simmered about 45 minutes. Mexican quinoa is done. In this case, we just boil the quinoa the same way you would make Spanish rice. Here we have a wedge of cabbage that we burned on the plancha. You get that nice caramelization in the inside. Quinoa down. Now this serves two purposes. This is your grain or your starch, with the banana being the part of the meat. Now it also soaks up all that nice adobada juice. Next we have our banana peels. Banana peels come out the texture of very tender pulled pork. Then top it with the cabbage. We have our salsa. This will just kind of brighten it up a little bit. I don't know if any of you have met a taco before. They're very supportive of each other. Now, uh, you can probably tell I might have forgotten to put some cilantro in that salsa. Let's run to the garden and grab some cilantro real quick. So this is my favorite phase. You know, you eat different parts of different plants for different flavors, but there's also different flavors from plants at different phases in their life. This is cilantro going to bloom. This is my absolute favorite phase of a cilantro's life, just because it not only looks really cool and pretty and frilly, but the flavor, I just always associate it with it being at its, at its sweetest. Happy Cinco de Mayo. If you like our banana pill tacos, please like, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see us do, please let us know.